Chapter 2, A Thorny Problem Hey Sprouts, welcome back to Fay Farm. Time to move on to Day 2 and Chapter 2. Check our mailbox. Now you see in the upper right, where the meadows clover. That's because I figured out, and I'm sure other people have as well, but if you're running the game on PC, like on Steam, you can go change the name of your Steam profile and it will update in the game. Magical Mischief. Alaric. Hi, Clover. So you might have noticed some unusual magical things happening around Azoria. It isn't too serious, except it kind of is. Can you come over and talk, please? Scattered scrolls. To all Azorians, the recent magical windstorms have sent debris flying. Had a most peculiar effect on our shop. In brief, the wind scattered many of our recipe scrolls in all directions. However, we do not wish for them to be returned. Instead, Consider these our contribution to the beautification of Azoria. Well, there's these recipes and create wonderful things. For example, one special scroll contains the recipe for a customization mirror. This magical invention permits you to change your hair, body shape, and face. You can transform your appearance at will. This and other marvelous creations await those who find and follow our recipes. Your humble merchants, Emily and Charles. Interested in dyes? From Lily. Hi, Clover. I hear you. Oops. <laughs> I hear you're new in town. Maybe you'd like some dice to start coloring your furniture and clothes. I'm sending you a sample of some of my best. If you want more, find me in the market. I've got plenty. Multiplayer open. My dear fellow Fay farmer, did you know your friends can, jo can join you in the wonderful world you created? All you have to do is open the main menu, select multiplayer. If you want multiplayer, you need the Phoenix account. Um, I did actually choose to restart my game uh, because I didn't take advantage the first time of time not moving or at least time not ending in the day one. So, uh, my skills are a lot higher now than they were in the previous day. Fishing is especially nice. Get all of this. Now, since time doesn't move properly, you can spend the whole day clearing most of the stuff on your farm. Uh, the thicker wooden logs that require upgraded tools aren't, you know, you're not going to be able to clear those out, but you can clear out the normal grass, the normal, the normal trees, the normal small logs. And most importantly, you can go around fishing and butt catching. Although, please do wait <laughs> until you've um, opened the storage, or you're not going to have any room for the. But as you can see, I have so many fishies. I'm actually uh, going to put some away. I don't need stamina for now. Bit that cooking. Now I actually spent. Oh, it is going to pull all the fish from my. Hmm. Um. Okay, there we go. I want to save some in case I need them for anything later, and I don't particularly want to do more cooking. I don't know for certain that that will happen, but it's never bad. I'm like. Oh, the little grass grew back. That's nice. Um, new bug. Yoink. So I, I did, I got the fishing rod. I did the fishing tutorial. And then I noticed that once I moved on to Mel, all of the, um, find a lark. All right, he's that way. All of the fish respawned. So I was able to go pick them up a second time. Well, I thought the lark was over there. No, there he is. Appreciate the trekking. Oh, he wasn't too far away. Hello. Hey, yeah. I wish more Azorians were into magic. Sometimes they talk way too much about it and their eyes glaze over. Redeem quest. A botanical magical menace. 
Salutations, Clover. My name is Alaric, your humble wizard of Azoria. The mayor let us all pick our titles. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's Honey Bear. <laughs> yes, of course. You're wondering why I mailed you. Okay, so, um, Azoria has a lot of magic. Wild magic, to be specific. As in, uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. Oh no, I don't mean to worry you. No, wait, I do! Because it's pretty dangerous. You fear nothing? Well, that's good to hear, but probably doesn't lend to good decision making. I know what I must do. I will build you a magical staff. You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. That was my tummy. I've been working so hard that I've forgotten to eat. No, he says that I didn't actually hear anything. I haven't had a warm meal in days. Do you think you could make me some home-cooked food? I've been needing raw muscles and I think I'm about to turn into one. Oh. Um, pick up a muscle, cook the muscle. <laughs> Alright. I did also pick up, um, as many of the recipes as I can notice. So if you've seen one that I don't have, uh, comment down below what it was, where it is. Yay, sand crab. Um... And if I want to just focus on farming, I can get some more sand. Although I should probably just do the quest. Um, assuming there are some muscles on the beach. Oh no. <laughs> I hope, uh, I hope collecting everything in earlier didn't uh, pluck me out for a day or two. I don't actually know what the respawn rate of any of these things are. Um, tea leaves. I did get all of the tea leaves I could find, all of the berries. I got a moon moth. That was pretty nice. And, you know, Day 2, 736, is not the absolute best amount of money you can get because um, you can get moon moths and they're worth 30, but I didn't want to sell the only one I had. Oh, well. Alright, um, let's see if the self... Um, Let's see if the broiled cell sh words why. Let's see if the broiled shellfish I made yesterday will count for the quest. I think it probably will. Um, I have seen quests auto update before when you just had what they needed. I have uh, had the game randomly freeze up occasionally, but I'm not sure if that's because, um, whether or not that's because my game is just one, um, if it's installed on an external drive, as I did not have, well, that was a lot of entries. Hmm? So many fishy, why didn't you stack? I could save that for when I get to go to the mines, because I'm going to need a lot of stamina for the mining. But, you know, I'd rather have more money. When that goes away, you can see 184 if you have a full stack of grilled fishies. It is actually uh, much cheaper to just... I mean, they're worth a lot less money, the cooked berries, but you can get them a little more frequently. Less hassle. Just because I'm better at the fishing does not mean I enjoy the fishing. Quest? Del deliver? Okay. Huzzah! We are now acquaintances. 
You're back. I smell food. I can feel the life returning to me. I can't wait to chow down. I spend t I'll spend tonight working in my alchemical lab. Tomorrow morning you'll have your very own magical staff. Now, I don't normally recommend anyone work all night, but times are dire. Basic soil bed. Come meet me tomorrow over by the biggest batch of thorns. We'll test out the staff's toughness before we tackle anything magical. Okay. That'll... Who can I talk to? Does anyone have questies? Just run around, talk to everybody, see if they have a quest spawn. Hello, anybody? Um, hmm. let's see. Can I afford trees? Okay, I can afford trees. I can afford many trees. Six days, six days, five days. Oh, that's just if I need to cut some things. You don't have the required ingredients. I find it a little odd that to get recipes I have to have items to trade. Hello, what can I buy from you? Backpack! Yoink! You now have more inventory space. Let's see what the next one's gonna cost. Um, all those new recipes popping up is inconvenient. Twenty five hundred florins. Not too bad. Hello, Millie. Um, beekeeper outfit. Rancher skirt. Cozy. Hopefully this means that we'll be able to get more things later. Um, undiscovered. Ooh, coral. And a flower. Ammonites. 30 of them for the color palettes. Okay. I was gonna sell those maybe. <laughs> but no, now I will hold on to them. Uh, and I will buy the dress. And then we'll go see if the fisherman, whose name I have forgotten, will sell me a new fishing rod. Why is the... Why are the fruit saplings a new recipe? I hear... I hear the frago. Come here, frago. You're in an inconvenient spot. Eh. Please? I can't get to you over there. Sneaky. There you go, spring peepers. Purple frog. I look forward to getting the magical rod so I can get rid of those vines. They are annoying. Hello, Eddie. That's your name. Sell me a fishing rod. A thousand florin! Oh. Whoops. Oh well. The backpack is worth it. Not that I was going to be able to afford it anyway. Okay. I don't really want to do more fishies. And I think I might be quest locked until I actually manage. I've been studying the sprites of Azoria, and they seem to be more mischievous than anything else. Chat. Are you finding your fitting yet? I know it's hard to be the new person in town, but everyone is really nice and you'll fit right in. Goodbye. And a recipe that I missed earlier. Cinnamon woven rug. That sounds nice. Uh, oh, there we go. More berries. More tea leaves. Now, you can only make one thing of tea per tea plant because it takes three tea leaves. Which I don't mind. I do wish I could mark on the map 
where the resources were, so I could always go get them easily, but maybe they'll include something like that in a future update. Now, this area actually had fodder that I was able to chop down. And, uh, because eventually you'll be able to get farm animals. And that was a tiny little hidden berry. Mm, can't get that. Here we go. Can I jump over there? No, I cannot. The muck is very inconveniently placed for certain plants. And this does not keep me out of this area. No, I want the plants! And I don't want to freeze. No! Ah ha ha, I made it. I'm thinking they will eventually give me a spell or something to get through there. Did I come over and drink? Drink some berries. It turned into a popsicle! Now, I don't know if this is going to end the day. Does it? No, it does not end the day. Well, that's rather useful. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I can recommend it as a quick travel method. But I don't think it hurts all that much. Let's see. Can I make the drink station? I can. Um, can I put it there? Yes. Make one iced tea. Make everything else warm tea. But that would be cool if I could um, just take the warm tea and use it to keep me warm in the frozen area. All of this uh, recipe showing up is getting a little annoying. What do I need? Undiscovered. So many undiscovered items. But you know, we're gonna have the basics like copper and iron and probably making stone somehow. And I'll just pop that in the corner. R. Flooring. Don't have any flooring. I can alter the look of the wallpaper a little bit. Get some nice trim. I do not recall my walls looking like stone like that though. And not that I was actually paying all that much attention. Let's see. Here, bug. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Um. So if you fall into the water while you have your fishing rod equipped, it will auto put you back to the multi-tool. I would like it if it would just remember and put you back on the fishing pole. Likewise, where I was on the bug net and I accidentally clicked on the cooking pot, I would prefer if it- hello bug. I prefer if it put it back on the bug catching net. Worker bee. I'm trying to find a queen bee, because I know I'm going to need a couple of them for recipes. I don't have alchemy unlocked yet, but I do know the bugs are for alchemy. So even though it's really tempting to sell them, you should probably hold on to them. Um, and I have a ton of stamina left, and I don't particularly feel like fishing. So I'm just going to Snail. I'm gonna dig up clay and sand. You absolutely do not need to be afraid of falling asleep while you're in the middle of digging. It will automatically put you back to bed. Ooh.
I kind of expected more to be going on on day two. Maybe I need to talk to more people. I, I didn't see anyone with a quest indicator. Like they're supposed to have the little question marks above their head. Get the free energy. No reason not to after all. Uh. Hello, Nessa. Hey, that didn't do anything extra. And the almanac is still going. Boing! Okay, these are teleportation ports. You can't unlock them until you get access to the mines. Because you, you need materials from the mines to unlock it. Another bee, hello! I don't really like the buzzing noise that- Can I bounce over to there? What? <laughs> I did! Um, and there doesn't appear to be anything here to make it worth it, but oh well. Tea leaves. I'm like- Oh, hello bug. How did I miss this? And I missed the tea leaf. If I was just going to focus on money, I would go back to fishing. But... I would rather do other things to earn money after day one. Like, it's less money, but it's a lot easier to just roast berries and sell that instead. Fishing takes a while. And of course, the current best money maker is in the mines. I can show off once I actually get to that point. Great. How much are the brown smells worth? 10. Peepers 15. 10. Hmm? Uh oh. I thought I saw something. It was a mistake. You can if you're lucky. Snag two of those at the same time. It's food time. See you in the morning. Automatically ports you back. Sells all your stuff. Simple magic stuff times two. I don't know what's saying that I have these. That was a little on the odd side. And that was day two. Did you notice any of the scrolls? Uh, let me know if you did. I really do want to collect all of those recipes. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.